Hey. Why is it every time I yell for you guys, you run back to the barn? Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm out bright and early this morning. Yesterday was the pond build day. The guys from Aquascapes killed it. They knocked out this entire pond build in one day. But that doesn't mean the work is complete. They just completed the pond build in one day with Bear's supervision. Bear, did you get in the pond yesterday? I saw you in the pond. Yeah, you too, Earl. Anyways, that doesn't mean the work's over. The pond itself is complete. We've still got a lot of um, cleanup, I guess. We've got to do some tidying up of some wires. Got to do some electrical work. It's going to need a ton more um, landscaping. But the water, look how much the water has cleared up. I can see the bottom this morning. Uh, the water's still a little stained. We will probably still go ahead and drain this. Try to get as much of that dirt out. We're going to wash the rocks some more. Try to clean everything up. Thanks for that, Earl. But, uh, yeah, this is cool. Houston couldn't be more excited about his fish pond. This is a major upgrade from his stock tank fish pond. But... There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Both the excavator and skid steer need to go back to the rental yard. And there's a ton of uh, dirt work, cleanup that needs to be done. Obviously, we made a mess. We just gotta make that look pretty. And that requires cleaning up all this and this. So we had um, way more rock delivered than what we needed basically Lindley Stone the company that delivered a semi load of rock to us told Brian and the guys at Aquascapes hey if we're making the delivery it's gonna cost you the same pretty much for a full semi load of stone versus a half a semi load which is really all we needed so now I've got a huge mess of giant boulders and the pallets have all been cut open because we cherry picked all the good good rocks out so it's not like i can even use the skid steer and the pallet forks to pick all this up now the uh the thing is <laughs> i do have my tractor with front end loader however it's kind of limited on its um lift capacity some of these rocks there is no way my tractor is going to pick up safely pick up and haul some of these rocks and bear's not going to help so i'm going to try to use the skid steer and the excavator this morning for probably a couple hours before i return them and i've got an idea we're going to have to hurry it's going to be a busy day i've got a special guest coming he's probably going to be here in just a little while so we're going to pause for that before we get started on the project but today's project i think what i'm going to do is move a bunch of these giant boulders ones like like this and and that one and build so there's the house the backyard and the goat pen back here i think i'm going to build something for the goats back there basically like a big rock mountain to climb on i'm not gonna say mountain a big rock structure try to make it pretty ish but something that the goats can climb on and jump on and jump off of because goats love to jump and play and uh i don't know where i'm going to put all the rest of these boulders but we've got boulders for days for projects like uh, most of them since the pallets are broken i can use my my grapple on my tractor and pick a few up at a time but some of these big ones i'm gonna have to do something with this morning because uh if i don't move them this morning with the uh that big skid steer and the big excavator they're gonna be sitting here for a little while all right, cleanup and goat playground are gonna have to wait just a little while because our uh, special guest has arrived all the way from the great state of Mississippi. We're not talking about a baby ostrich. <laughs> So the special guest that arrived, I shared a video on uh, Facebook yesterday, several days ago for you guys. He was leaving Mississippi, headed to Oklahoma to deliver a big pig trap. Because between the two properties that we own, you guys know we did a bunch of pig trapping videos last year. We didn't catch a ton, not the numbers that this guy catches, but uh, we always want to get rid of those feral hogs, get rid of the pigs off our property. 
When you're a deer hunter or a turkey hunter, you don't want those pigs around. They're invasive, they're nasty, and they don't belong here. So in comes David Ellis, better known as Yacht Yacht to the rest of the world. Probably to everybody except his wife, if I had to guess. She's probably the only person who doesn't call her Yacht Yacht. When I met her, she uh, she said, what's a Yacht Yacht? <laughs> she didn't even know what, what none of that social media stuff was. So David delivered this trap for us. This is the same company, same trap that he uses. How many pigs do you think you've caught in one of these traps? Uh, which one? <laughs> I got four, so I probably caught a thousand in each one uh, over the years for sure. But we, can, we usually catch a couple thousand a year, I would think, uh, with mine. So Mississippi is loaded with pigs, apparently. Loaded down. We, we knock heads and feed families over there for sure. That's what's awesome about his channel. Be sure and check him out. YouTube, Facebook. It's David Ellis, Yacht Yacht. Um, he's pretty easy to find anywhere. He's got a giant following on Facebook. He's huge on Facebook. You wouldn't think people on Facebook would be interested in seeing this guy catch pigs, but he'll catch 15, 20 pigs at a time, and they've got families scattered all over Mississippi that they're feeding, which is awesome. The difference here is most people won't take them. Uh, we can, you can catch pigs and try to give them away, and people go, eh, I might take a 50-pounder to throw on a smoker or something. But that's about it so we're gonna get busy unloading this trap get it set up we're not setting it in a location to actually trap we're sitting right in front of a deer blind but he's just kind of showing me how to set it all up more than likely it's going to end up on the other property more than it is here i've got quite a few pigs coming in over there so we're going to figure this thing out I like to do. I go and chain my chain. Oh. This just keeps the door closed. But the reason I like to go on and do it is once you get it up in the air, <laughs> I love to forget. Oh yeah. <laughs> so usually what I do is uh, I just climb over top. But I'm just showing you this for this purposes. Uh, usually when you get all this bolted together, you just go through the door mm -hmm. and then do your inside work. So for the four of you that watch my channel that have no idea what this thing is, <laughs> this pig trap is designed to where there's nothing, there's no fence on the ground. The hogs all go under and uh, it gives them a little bit of a, a level of comfort, I guess. They don't feel like they're going into a confined space. And then the entire trap drops down. Yeah, so, we'll, so basically you watch these from your cell phone. So if you got five, 10 pigs, you know how many you got, then uh, you wait on them to all come in here and when they come in here, you can watch it from your, your cell phone or your laptop computer or whatever. And uh, we'll have a camera set up, which we don't have now. And then uh, safety pins are out, uh, winch cables is off. It'll set a signal while those hogs are in here eating. It's over with. Ain't nothing left with the head knocker. <laughs> uh, so, and then like I said, it's a short, it's short, <clears throat> but we got a head rake, uh, headache rake, uh, rack, what I call it. So they'll jump and try to hit and they'll hit here, keep them from jumping out. Uh, for the most part, as long as you get here early, you know, don't don't wait till you know eight o'clock when the sun's done got on them because it's like anything, nobody wants to be laid up in the sun, right? If they ain't got to, so oh, other than that, so I think we about got it figured out on that part. All right, well, David taught me everything I need to know about trapping pigs. Got a quick uh, couple hour session this morning. We got the, the big pig trap set up, showed me how to work everything it's not in place we're actually going to be trapping but i've got to get busy cleaning up from the mess of the pond build and david had to get back on the road to mississippi he did come in um last night he came in about the time we were finishing up with the pond made it into town we put him up at a uh, in a hotel room just uh, about three miles from us a big retreat center it's really it's a really cool place he came over we had barbecue we fed all the the uh, aquascape guys barbecue last night david came and stayed for a couple hours so we got to hang out with him i'm telling you you may not be into pig trapping but david is he's a cool guy he's an entertainer he makes things fun that's for sure 
and uh, he feeds a lot of families with the pigs that he traps and uh, he does a good thing got a great channel David Ellis yacht yacht look him up YouTube Facebook Instagram all the places but uh, on to the next project and I've got to get started cleaning up I'm really all I'm gonna do is just move probably move pallets as I can over out of the mode area of our yard and just store over there my wife's got a lot of plans for all these leftover boulders like landscaping in our front yard and flower beds and all that stuff but I am gonna steal a few of these really big ones that I know I can't move with my tractor and make a little play area for the goats. So I'm thinking, just, just off the top of my head, this one is pretty big and flat, but if I can get a couple like this set in place and then use the thumb on that excavator to pick, maybe try to pick this one up, may have to use the, uh, the forks but set it up on top of it and then put a couple other smaller ones next to it just to give the goats a place to jump and play and have fun and then if we ever want to use those boulders for another project they're right there close by I got me a decent selection of boulders down here got the excavator with the thumb the forks on a skid steer and I'm gonna kind of prep the ground a little bit level it out just a little and uh, start stacking some stones we're not trying to build a castle here we're not trying to build a castle here or anything just some structure basically just a rock pile for goats to climb on because well they're goats Well, there you have it, Stonehenge, Daniel style. <laughs> but that'll give the goat somewhere good to play and jump and bounce and go under and on and play king of the hill and do whatever it is goats like to do. They've been using this dirt pile and those stumps back there, but uh, the rocks are really good for their hooves. This is all sandstone, so it'll help keep their hooves trimmed up real nice and give them a little bit of entertainment. I tried to call them over here. They ran down to where I feed when I called them instead of to me. They literally ran across the pasture behind the greenhouse and all the way down there but anyway so the boulders are i mean it's nothing fancy but it does give the goats some use they'll get some use out of them and if we have a project you know landscaping or otherwise we can always come back and rob these and use them somewhere else 
but uh, they are definitely most of those were definitely too big for me to be able to do with just my tractor so it's good to get them back here out of the way and the goats will play with them so I need to get back up on the hill and finish cleaning up oh my goodness there's so much rock left over and uh, I'm quite certain DJ already has lots of uh, front yard landscaping plans with these boulders oh, they are pretty it does look really cool um, the way that the, the guys from Aquascapes Brian's like a master artist when it comes to laying out the landscape and stuff around that little pond the way they kind of dig and bury those boulders in they look like they've been there forever and um, yeah so landscaping around the pond will come soon got to get all started on that got to get everything cleaned up and you know just a never-ending battle right cleanup is <laughs> work is great and the cleanup it's work too I'd say that's about a wrap on the cleanup. I've got a little bit of wire left to pick up here and all the trash and cardboard and boxes and all that stuff that's up in front of the garage, but we pretty much demolished this area and I'm gonna put out some grass seed. Problem is, is the lack of rain and we're, we're not gonna get any germination, but the goats have uh, made it back over here close to my rock pile for them. We'll see if we can get them to come check it out real quick. Hey. Why is it every time I yell for you guys, you run back to the barn? What in the world? Goats! Hey! Come on, goats! Come on, goats! Come back through the gate! Come on! Skip! Come on! Come on, goat. Come on. Come on. Come on, goats. Let's go. Come on. These goats are so confused. Usually they'll come to <laughs> shaking a bucket of feed. <laughs> Problem is, is I always am at the barn. And now I'm going the opposite direction, so. They're headed to the barn every time I shake a bucket of feed, so. I guess you guys don't get to see them enjoy their new uh, rock playground today. I'll try to catch it on video later. Maybe they'll do it. <laughs> come out and play at their own leisure this evening because they are goats. They will be all over it just in their own time. <laughs> 